People come to the Indiana State Museum to explore past, present, and even the future through many artistic and cultural exhibits. There is also an exhibit that focuses on the advancements in technology in the 1950s. The advancements in technology that would continue would not only reach Bloomington, Indiana, then travel to Boston and to cities around the world like Beijing. Uh, Indiana was a, a place for uh, inventions of uh, quite a few consumer items that we know today. Uh, the, in our museum collection we have an example of the first pocket-sized transistor radio which was uh, invented and sold and manufactured by a company in Indianapolis starting in 1954, a Regency Radio. And the design of that has kind of been linked to uh, modern day uh, Apple products and iPods. The uh, design in 1954 looks a lot like things we have today. Hoosiers helped create the pop culture we know today looking at some of the famous people highlighted at the Indiana State Museum with Indiana Roots are Jane Polly, Tony Stewart, and David Letterman. Not only does the Indiana State Museum highlight Indiana culture through their exhibits, but they also have programs like Indiana's Band Slam, where visitors can kick back and enjoy popular music from the 1950s while showing off groups from back in the day. From the Indiana State Museum, I'm Mara Manners.